How's it guys? It's Henry here. I uh, just thought to make a quick video of my PC, of the differences of water cooling and normal fan cooling. Now I'll just show my rigs a bit. As you can see there's some water cooling. Fan controller. And I'll just head this off. Over here we've got a tank that goes into the CPU. It's a radiator by itself. It's a Volcano 4000 heat exchanger. That's right. So from there on it goes to that radiator. From that radiator it goes to the Travis card, 7950 gigabyte. Then it goes to that radiator and from that radiator all the way up to that radiator. And then it goes back into the pump. Yeah. Uh, but 4 gigs of course we have 2, 1, 3, 3 MSI um, 890 FXA GD70 supports 5 graphics cards that's the main purpose of it but just only using one so yeah S uh, 700 watt uh, aero cool power supply I'm on your lights obviously server fan Normal fans, a fan at the top there as well, behind yeah, that uh, radiator. You can see some um, 1 terabyte and 500 gig, 500 gig operating system, 1 terabyte for storage. Okay, um, over here you can see normal RAT 9, just normal uh, Creative 5.1 speakers, trust keyboard. This I got off a special, ripped off the price from another box and put it onto another box and bought it for cheaper. <laughs> Alright, Samsung 22 inch screen and a mic a friend gave me a long time ago. Alright, differences. Okay, let's just show you the first one around is temperature before I did the water cooling. As you can see there, let's see if you can focus this a bit more. There we go. That was my graphics card was 81 degrees as you can see there the core is 65 degrees this was whilst I was playing um, Dead Island I think I think it was Dead Island yeah um, as you can see that the temperature is right there 81 degrees for the TP this was using speed fan 4.42 uh, 81 degrees for GPU and core 65 degrees now let me show you the recent ones that I've got right here. This was a more latest version, but as you can see at the core, this is for maximum now with the water cooling 33.5 degrees, and uh, GPU maximum was 42 degrees. As you can see, a significant, significant uh, difference from 81 to 42. This is just because of water cooling. Exactly the same card. Exactly everything is the same, just added some water cooling. And the core, I mean, again, 33.5 degrees, and over there you can see core being 65 degrees. This is an old shot, obviously, this is recent. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I afterburner I've got for my 7950. This is my settings for it. Let me see if you can focus this more. There we go. Because RAM 1575, core clock 1000, just added that and, and did some voltage tweaking. Um, as you can see there, maximum 42 degrees, minimum 36 degrees, obviously. Um, Alright, now the results was benchmarking. Before I overclocked, uh, I got with uh, 3D Mark uh, 2011, just normal install straight off the bat and ran it. So that scored 6,583. Now, this is one where I overclocked just the CPU. It goes up to 7,025. CPU and the RAM, obviously. And, uh, and this is the one where I overclocked the graphics card as well. Now, I couldn't have done this um, without water cooling. When I did this without water cooling, you just get blue screen, blue screen, blue screen the whole time. 
So yeah, this is what I achieved a great number of above, so the 1,200 at least up. I think that's pretty good, if you ask me. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Anything, anything else you guys need, please feel, feel free to inbox me or whatever. Cheers, Henry out.